Hey there YouTube and Lloyd Precision Makers, we want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. How do you get the drill size without having, say, your tap and drill chart or machinery's handbook? Let's say you're working on something vintage and it predates any kind of national standards. For example, I've got this unmarked, unbranded tool post holder that has no patent dates, nothing that I rescued out of a scrap pile. I'd like to kind of figure out how to get this to work for the craft. So what do you do? The secret formula is the maximum the diameter of the bolt or screw less the pitch. And we get the pitch by 1 divided by the threads per inch or TPI. Or in other words, you can think of it as the inverse of the TPI. So if it was a 348 screw, it would be 1 divided by 48 or the inverse of 48 to get the pitch. Now let's try this out. I've got my micrometer here, and I've got my mystery thread. I'm going to go ahead and mic this. I've got 0 0.3075, probably closer to 6. So let's just call that 0 0.308 for easier math. Okay, so 0 0.308. Now I'm going to take my fishtail or thread gauge. So this one is totally awesome and matches my Craftsman lathe. It's got divisions of 14, 20, 24, and 32. So these are specifically for figuring out threads. So let's try, I don't know, 20? 24 threads per inch. So let's remember that. Right? Take my calculator. Let's see here. 1 divided by 24 or the inverse of threads per inch for all us, you folks out there. And we get 0 0.4162, like infinity. Let's take our, what was it, 0 0.308, 308. That's our bolt width minus 0 0.042, our one divided by threads per inch or the inverse of threads per inch. And that equals 0.266. So that is a starting internal thread. What does Machinery's Handbook have to say about that? Here it is 5 16 by 24. Let's look at internal threads. For a class 1B internal thread, our minor diameter maximum is 0.277. Our minor diameter minimum, okay, minimum, check this out, 0.267. That equation got us within one thousandth of the minor diameter of a class 1B thread, internal thread. That's pretty handy to have and know. So hopefully that's something that will help you out, save you some time, and relieve you of some headaches. I hope everyone has a happy and safe 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. And from all of us here at Lloyd Precision Makers, have fun out there, stay safe, and keep making chips.